have you ever wondered how you can be able to leverage short form platforms like tiktok reels and youtube shorts to be able to sell your digital products on the internet without spending any time on paid ad or going there in this video you're going to discover how you can be able to leverage short form content like youtube shorts reels tiktok to be able to start generating qualified lead and sales to your digital products either as an affiliate as a coach, as a service provider, or even as a course creator, you can be able to get more lead and airbobs to your offer and can be able to make more sales leveraging short form content. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Terry Tyrenio and you're welcome. This channel is all about helping you build a magnetic personal brand, leveraging proven attraction marketing strategy to be able to generate more lead and sales to your digital products without spending any time on pay that using free social media marketing strategy. So if you want more effective strategies to be able to get your products and services in front of the right people and be able to make more sales to your digital products, leveraging attraction marketing strategy, be sure to subscribe and join us every week for fresh content like this. This training is actually done in a private Facebook community and we go live every Friday to show you new working strategies so you can actually generate more lead and sales, leveraging free social media marketing strategy. Be sure to check the link in the description to join us every Friday for new live trainings just like this. All right, let's dive into it. Talking about short form content, short form content is just video, and um, it's actually the 15 to 1 or 60 seconds video which you can be able to use to generate lead and sales for your business. So, this is an example. This is actually some of the reads um, which I've been able to post in here. So those these reads are actually very, very fast and short. And it's an effective way to reach your targeted audience because different platforms are promoting this video a lot. And I know I'm not getting as much uh, views, like I'm not going viral with all of these views, but the main point is not about going viral, it's about communicating with the right people that are going to be interested in your products or services. So this is where you have to put yourself out there. And even though you're talking to two people every day, those two people is a lot better when they are actually more no sure than recipients to what you have out here. And this is why we're not going to be focusing on going there. Because I've had some posts I've actually went there, but that doesn't actually lead to more sales or making the most money as you want. The stuff that actually converts people are the stuff that actually speak to them and tell them what they need to do and um, what you're all about so that they can actually take action with you at the end of that video. Because short form content is very, very short, which is from 15 seconds to as much as say, 60 seconds. And you need to be very, very targeted and straight to the point to be able to generate lead with this type of content. Because most people are screwing through that news feed when they are going and watching through the short form content too quickly, have fun, to have a laugh. So you have to, first of all, capture their attention, then actually give them something that they're interested in before you can be able to nurture and convert those type of traffic into lead. Then we're going to dive into the diagram where we can better explain the structure and how you can actually start leveraging short form content. And you don't have to worry about the view because you can um, you can duplicate this content into other streaming platform like YouTube. I can post this content on YouTube. There are some content in here that actually have very few um, um, plays and uh, views on them. But when I post them on YouTube, I got a lot more better views and engagement in that platform. So this is one of the beauty about short term content in course. The other social media platform is actually integrating it into their um into that into their platform from Facebook to Instagram to TikTok and even YouTube. Everybody has short form content because this generation attention span is so short. Nobody have um, nobody have the time. Nobody no longer wants to watch the full long content. Everybody wants a quick stuff that is going to satisfy their interest at that moment. And this is what actually brings the bad the short form content. And it's actually to our advantage because we can be able to leverage this. As marketers to be able to get a message in front of more people without paying for hard. So when we're talking about traffic, we talk about two ways you can be able to get traffic. We talk about how you can get traffic by actually working for that platform. Then we also talk about how you can be able to get traffic by working or by paying ads. So if you're not paying for traffic, you're actually working to get traffic. And to work to get traffic, you have to create content in partnership with that platform. To attract those people that are going to be interested in that product or services and also to retain those people within those platforms so that the platform can be able to show them more hard they can make more money you can make more money and create a new, new situation for all parties if that makes sense all right so let's dive into today's content so these are just an examples of short form content and i just talked about stuff you don't need to you don't need to have the fastest technology you don't need to 
um, have a studio and all of this stuff to be able to create this type of short form content and get in front of your targeted audience. All you need to do is just put yourself out here. And today we're going to talk about some of the strategies so you're not just blindly creating content. I could tell you that um, short form content and uh, these short videos are actually getting a lot of attention and traffic. So go start posting them. But if I do not give you what to post or an idea on how to go do that, it's going to be a lot more confusing for you. So I'm going to break it down step by step. So at the end of this training, you can get value and you can actually start creating short form content and generating lead and sales to your digital product. So I understand, I believe everyone here understands the short form content and what it's all about. If you don't, also let me know. I'm going to clarify and ensuring you more details of how it works. So this is the overall blueprint on how you can be able to leverage short form content to generate lead and sales to your digital products. Either as an affiliate, as a coach, as a service provider, or selling a um, master we say right. Whatever product you're selling, you need traffic, and this is how you can get traffic on the internet. So the first thing we're going to be doing is that when you're talking about traffic, you are not just creating content to become a freelancer, uh, no, to become an influencer on TikTok. If that should be your case, then maybe you might only to have an offer in place in the very first point. But if you're creating content for a short social media platform and you're leveraging short form content and your aim is to actually generate leads to your offer, if you want to generate lead, it means you have an offer which you want to generate the leads to. So the very first point you're going to need to work on is that offer. So what exactly is the offer you're selling? Because the offer which you're selling is what is going to show the people that are going to be interested in that offer. And every product was created to solve a problem for a specific person, which means if that product is in market, it was created for a person. So first of all, we want to study that offer and review it in depth to actually understand what it's all about. So we're going to first of all go into your offer. We're going to understand your offer and the problem it solves. For example, I'm in the make money online niche and the offer I'm selling is going to help you generate more lead and build a magnetic audience so you can become a leader and consistently monetize our audience into cash on a, like whenever you want. You already have access to this audience. You can send whatever offer and, and actually start turning those audience into a sale for your products and services, which means it's in the make money online space. People that are going to be interested in that are people that choose to actually have a business and digital marketing space and you're struggling with lead and generation uh, lead and traffic and they're looking for ways to be able to nurture and provide this traffic into C for their business. Now, this is my offer. If I should be creating content, I should put that in mind so that I know that this is what my offer is doing for this type of people. Now, that being out of the way, understanding that this is the offer I'm promoting and how does this offer solve that problem for them? For me, it's going to be, first of all, the offer is going to help them with their offer so you can have something you're selling or make it so attractive so that a lot of people are going to buy it very easily for you. Because once you have something that a lot of people want, selling it becomes a lot easier. The second step of my offer is going to be like creating system and structure to make sure that you are consistent with your content and your marketing. You put stuff in place like your funnels, your landing page. So you're consistently not sharing this lead and you're consistently converting them into a C for your business. Third step might be creating content or streaming the platform out master content creation. So this is the structure which my offer actually a person to solve the problem and be able to be the magnetic trap and start making more sales on the internet. Now, putting that in place, I have to go to the person who is going to be interested in that offer. If offer solve that problem, and that problem can be related to so many people. It can be related to people in a nine to five job that want to actually get out of that nine to five environment and start something on their own. It can be for new, fresh college students that are working in an FF job that they hate. It might be for baby boomers. It might be for people who just retired and looking for the next thing to do. All of these people might want to start an online business. And this offer can be able to solve all of those people's problems. But if at the saying that when you try to say to everybody, you try to say to nobody. So this is where we have to figure out which niche is going to be more identical to us. Like what people are going to resonate more with you instead of the next person. Now, for example, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're creating content to also reach out to other stay-at-home moms, it's going to be a lot more magnetic because once they see your content, they can connect with you on that identity because they also identify as a stay-at-home mom and they also feel the pain and also want access to the opportunity which you might be showing them in your content. So the reason why I'm first of all going through this stuff is because content is just another word for effective communication. And when you don't understand what you're trying to communicate or who you're trying to communicate with, you're going to be all over the place. And you cannot be able to be on a one-on-one point where they understand you 
then you also understand the audience, if that makes sense. So the first thing is your offer. So the first thing you break down your offer, understand what it's all about, the problem is solved, and how you intend to take them from where they are to where they want to be, just like where I explained the systems just now to you. So the second point is who is the niche and the people you can actually attract to that offer, because you cannot say to everybody, like an offer to people how to generate lead and sales on the internet can be sold to someone who is an um, who is an affiliate, can be sold to a coach, it can be sold to a stay at home mom, it can be sold to people working in a corporate environment. Like there are different people who are going to be interested in that, but you don't want to target everybody. So this is why you want to go back into the niche and messaging. And with the previous training we did in the group, which was your secret sales weapon, we talked about the IPO algorithm. And the IPO algorithm is your identity, the pain, and the opportunity. This is one way you can be able to quickly figure out your targeted avatar and people want to build an audience with around and start attracting them towards you very, very easily. So the second part is the niche and your message. Because once you create a content, you want it to be targeted. Now you can go to my content and you can check everything I post out there. You won't see anything that is off track from what my offer is doing or what I'm all about or the type of audience I'm trying to build. Because I understand the offer I'm trying to say, I understand the niche and the market and the person I'm trying to attract to say to, and that's the person I'm talking to in my content. So we we'll have to get this out of the way before we even go into the content part of it. So you want to figure out, then when it comes to your messaging, you want to figure out the big idea you need your audience to believe about your offer, and you also want to create a sub niche and a blue sea around your big idea. In the sense that if your offer is teaching people how to be able to generate lead and sales, leveraging paid ads. Then you understand that you have to get people to believe that paid ads is the right way to go, that you don't have to waste your time to organic lead generation. Once you can spend the right money into the right system of paid ads, you can quickly generate more lead and mixes. If you're doing that with um, lead, organic lead generation or attraction marketing like I am, when you get people to understand that, you can be able to build an audience, you can learn and grow and hone the skill of marketing, and you can be able to attract your own audience and you can start making sales without actually paying for ads. So the more the more um, points your offer is all about, the way your, the strategy or the system your offer is using to solve that problem from them, you want to make it, you want to create a unique way to actually tell your audience that way so that they're going to be sued on it. And this is what I call the pre-selling. And your content can actually help you pre-sell your lead on what you're all about and um, how you can be able to and what they're going to get if they should decide to buy your stuff in advance. And if you are still struggling with content, understanding your niche, understanding people you can serve, actually just put together a new offer right now on my profile and it's also in the group. You can check it out. It's all about helping you create more magnetic content that says and showing you how you can increase your authority and build a magnetic trap of high ticket buyers and close more high ticket sales. If that's something you'll be interested in, it just costs $49 and you get access to the workshop that is going to show you exactly how you can start creating more magnetic content. And even to sweeten the deal, I'm also going to help you to review your current content, your profile, and also help you come up with as much as 30 days worth of content so you can be on the right track and start creating this content, attracting those audience, turning those leads into sales for your business. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to let me know or just go to the picture tab of this group to learn more about this offer I'm just talking about right now. All right, so let's continue. So after figuring out the offer review and figuring out the niche and the message of people you want to save, then we're going to create a content strategy and we start building an audience. So from the previous training, we've talking about the traffic. We get to understand that traffic is visibility, traffic is attention, traffic is just response from those targeted audience, which is the people who have that pain. Now, traffic cannot be created, traffic cannot be transferred from where it is to where we want it to be. And knowing this and having this knowledge, we'll get to understand that a lot of people are already on social media platform using this platform for entertainment, for education, to solve their pain or to look for solutions to their problem. So what we can do is we can go where they're currently hanging. And right now on every social media platform, there's a short form content where people are already hanging and trying to grab as much fun as they can to while away time and just entertain themselves. Now, as marketers, this is an opportunity for us to get in front of them and turn those visibility, which is those traffic, into our audience, which is the second step then from those audience into a lead, then from those lead into a C. And this is what this framework is actually helping you do right now, if that makes sense. So after your understanding your offer, understanding the niche and the people you want to save, you want to go into the content strategy. So before going to content strategy, let's talk about the purpose of your content. Now, your content is to attract, which is generate the audience, then 
your content is going to help you nurture those audience. Because right now I'm doing a live training and this is content. And this is part of the content that actually nurture the audience because right now I'm giving good with this are store people normally charge for to actually show you so you can use it in your marketing. Because these are marketing strategies. This is not a, a magical tip. This is stuff that I've been working 50 years ago that's going to work 100 years from now. So this is stuff that I'm transferring to you, which is a skill set. And this is a way of me not showing my audience and giving you good will without actually asking for anything, if that makes sense. So there's also type of content that you can also use to convert and monetize your audience. Like right now, you can go check out the pin post, the picture in the group, or you can check out the new post in my profile. You're going to see I just created a post, which is a promo and an offer to the magnetic content that I said, which was a live workshop. I didn't help you to actually help you improve on your content and generate more leads and sales to your business. So that's another type of content. And that type of content, what it's doing is actually helping me monetize and convert the warm lead and people who are actually ready for my offer in my audience. So I can always monetize them and I can always make sales from the people who are ready to actually take action with me. So there are different stages of your content, which is also where you have to create a content cycle. And more of this we talk about in the magnetic content that says, because that was in depth all about content, all about finding your avatar with assignments, research, and everything that can actually help you strengthen your confidence and get more clarity on people you save so you can effortlessly attract them to you easily. So if you want to share that out, be sure to go to the comments. Um, be sure to go to the pin featured post in the group or just check my profile. It's in there. It's $49. It's actually open. Everything you need to know is in there. So this is what content does attract not sure and convert. So that's just an idea of the type of content you're going to be creating. And it's like, I'm going to walk you through a script that can actually help you do that very easy. Now, the next thing you want to do when it comes to creating a content strategy, you want to figure out the four to five pillar content and the area which your big idea is going to help them solve. Like the system your offer is currently using to solve those pains for them. If it's using pay that means your focus and the content you're going to be creating it's going to be around paid ads. If your content, the offer you're promoting is actually helping people to generate more lead and sales, leveraging attraction marketing or organic lead generation strategy, that is going to be the big idea and where your four pillar content is going to be coming from. So that whenever content you're creating out there is gradually preframing and preceding these people towards you and your business. And there are three types of content you should be creating. You should be creating content for your audience to nurture them, content for, for you to get to show them all about you, a content to show them your offer. So these are the three things you should be tackling when you're thinking about creating content because you want to nurture them to you, you want to nurture them to your offer, and you also going to nurture them to like to like you, to, win, to feel encouraged by you, leveraging the once persuasion sentence by Blair Warren, which we're going to be talking about right now. This is all about marketing, and this is how you can get in front of potential customers and actually start generating leads and sales. So with the content strategy, you want to figure out the four to five pillar content areas surrounding your big ideas. For example, I'm all about attraction marketing, which means my popular content area are going to be around the attraction marketing. It's going to be about offer, as I said, messaging, because this is how you talk to the people. It's going to be about systems and structure, so you can always effortlessly work through your business without getting overwhelmed. It's going to be around um, client acquisition system, which we're going to social media marketing, content creation, DM marketing, Funnels and email marketing, because these are all ways you can be able to actually start building an online business and leveraging proven attraction marketing and organic lead generation strategy to start generating lead and seeds. So when I start creating content, I'm going to be circling around these four to fair pillar content areas because these are the points of which my offer is actually helping them get rid of and actually solve for them, if that makes sense. Now, we also want to dig deep into your values and your experience and the belief so you can create a brand that actually attracts people just like you. So going back to the IPO acronym, this is where you want to understand what do you identify as currently because you are your perfect avatar in a way because there are people, hundreds and thousands of people who can identify with some things and are similar to you. For example, people also working in a dead big job that they want to get rid of. For example, people uh, say I told moms that actually need something else to occupy their time and want to end so that they're not just not contributing to the family. They want to also contribute. So there are different people that have the same reason for doing the same things as you. So when you can dig into your own values and your experience, you can actually start attracting those people to, towards you. And the way you can do this is through your content because this is how you communicate to your audience because content is just under what for effective communication if that actually makes sense. So you want to understand your audience, their challenges, the pain points, their desired outcome, so you can create content 
in a way that can actually position you as an authority so that when they can connect you to the pain of you understanding what the coin is feeling, they can also connect you to the solution that you might have something that can help them. And this is when we start referring people to our products or to our lead magnets. They can actually give them a start point to solve this pain. All right, so we move. So let's recap. We start from your offer. You want to understand what your offer is all about. We go to the niche, which is the people interested in your offer and finding out your unique people that you can be able to save. Then we go into the content strategy, which is you diving into the big idea, which your offer is currently using to solve those pain. Then talking about going in-depth into you, the type of business you want to build, your values, what you identify with, and your experiences. Then going back into the audience, what are they facing, what are the pain, what are the challenges, and why do they even need your offer? In the very first place and if you want to understand more about this in depth and practical exercises and um, demonstrations so you can actually get to get more clarity about your content and actually start putting out more marketing content out there there's actually a new offer with an uh, insane bonus right now which you can get access to i'm not going to pitch that in the um, in this live session you can just check out the picture or you can go to my facebook profile right now so you can quickly be among the first five people to secure extra coaching for me with the content marketing game all right, so the after your client acquisition system, this is when we go into the content marketing and email marketing. So since we're working with um, short form content, which means this attention we're getting, we might get them just once, which means we have to be fast with whatever we want to do with this um, with the lead we're going to be generating. Because when you go to your reads and you check out the content in there, it's very fast. When someone watches it, it's like the 15 minutes or 30 seconds or uh, 15 seconds or 60 seconds this is how long it can be and these people are screened very fast and once you're done with it they are screened and going to the next video they are screened and going to the next video you know how it is when you're working with um the short form content you've been on tiktok you've used the reels or instagram reels or even youtube shorts once you screen once you finish the content you keep on screen keep on screen and the chances of you getting to get back to that content you just get is like near to impossible so this is why we want to be decisive in our content and what we're trying to attract these people. And there are three things you're going to be needing when you're creating the content. And we're going to dive more into that in a sec. So this is why we're going to the content marketing because without putting those content in there, we're not going to be able to attract. Now we can do a little bit about pre optimization. We'll start talking about the content because we want people to also get the bit understanding of what we're all about in the sense that when our profiles optimize, even when you're working on TikTok, this one I want to give a quick description. Like, um, this is what I'm all about. This is what I can do. Speaking to your targeted avatar. So if I can get to TikTok, I could find some examples so you can see other marketers. So the first thing is you want to optimize the profile for business. Then you want to set up your funnel. Then you want to start creating content. And we can use the hook story and call to action strategy. Then the 90 day zero to content mastering uh, challenge. The entire video practice, AI content creation, era video edits, and it's crazy, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain. This is me breaking down the step-by-step -step system. And these were some of the things we actually explained and talked about in depth in the marketing content that converts life workshop. So the very first thing is the profile optimization, which is just like on Facebook, you want to optimize the profile for who you save and what book to be able to expect from you if they start to hang around your platform. Now I'm having a terrible internet connection. And this stuff is slow, so pardon me. So with Facebook, you can see this is like me optimizing my profile, talking about the people I serve and what I help them do. Then giving a call to action, which is like my Facebook group on what I want them to do next. And I can be able to create content in here. So this is thing also applies whether you're working on YouTube, whether you're working on TikTok, you have to give them an insight. Like this is when you post your profile, your profile picture, then give them an insight to what you're all about. You can also see that this is a cover photo. You can see the my logo article athlete marketing personal branding entrepreneur lifestyle then when i upload videos every day and a picture about me and what you can see in the description is this channel is all about helping you start profitable ethical athlete marketing business now if you're using facebook also you're also going to give a description of what you're all about and what people could be able to expect it's like an intro to your channel or to your world if that makes sense if you're on tiktok the same thing just a quick intro about you uh, image most platforms are going to require a banner just facebook and youtube so on TikTok or Instagram, just your cover photo, then a description for your robot, just your profile picture and description for your robot. And that is all you actually need. All right. 
So after that, the funnel setup, this is when we go into your landing page. I know we haven't talked about the content. I want the content to be the last thing so we can actually, from the content, funnel the lead directly into the next stage of the process. So when it comes to content marketing, your optimized profile is the very first thing to educate and actually properly tell your audience what you're all about. The second thing is actually creating the content. So here we we'll start going into the content. And when we start optimizing your profile in the first place, you want to have your funnels already in place. Because as I said earlier, when you're working with short-form content like TikTok, Wiz, YouTube Shorts, people are not in uh, people are not waiting around. People are in a uh, haste to go check out the next content. People are just going and watching. So you have to have specific things in place to be able to hold their attention and also get them to want to take action too. And this is why I want to understand the people very, very well. And when we start creating content, we want to be moving this lead as fast as we can into our email list. So this is why you can see content marketing, email marketing. They both work hand in hand. So when you create a content, this is the framework you can be able to use, which is the hook, story, and call to action. So let me try to see if we can work on a bigger screen here. So the hook, story, and call to action. This is what you can be able to use to get the attention of those people when you're working with the short-term content. It's actually the simple. And this framework work on Facebook, work on YouTube Reels, shorts, work on IG Reels, work on TikTok, or whatever social platform you want. So the hook is all about holding the attention. People are very, very busy. People are looking for the next thing. The attention span is less than that of a good fish in today's generation. So this is where you want to catch your attention and there are different ways you can be able to catch your attention. So finally, we're currently in the content part because optimizing your profile, knowing your offers and the niche, these are all stuff you're going to put back into your content and start displaying when you start putting yourself out there. I'm also going to talk about some exercises and practice that can actually get you to quickly put yourself out there without the worries, the fears, because I understand that it can be when you try to do this for the very first time. I was once there, I remember creating my first shots from content. It was scary. I remember creating my first YouTube video. It was scary and it's not easy. And I'm just I'm not just going to tell you to go do it because I understand the pain and the frustration of whatever discomfort you might be feeling to actually do that. And I'm going to share with you something that can ease in discomfort and help you to actually get into it. And not just that, I'm also going to give you something that can actually help you to start quitting it so you don't have to overthink it. It's a, a template that you can actually leverage to start creating short form content. And this is, was not created by me. I'm not going to take the credit. This was actually created by Brian Bui and the affiliate escape plan community. So I'm going to share this for you so you can also leverage this because Brian is just like me. Brian loves to share stuff to help everybody grow within his community. So when you're creating content, you want to you marketing because content marketing, this is where you can see in the places content marketing, not just creating content because you're not creating content to become an influencer. We're not creating content to get brand deals. We're creating content to say stuff. So there are different ways. We're not waiting to be there. If you want to be an influencer, yeah, you can create content to go there. But if you want to say stuff, you don't want to create content to go there. You want to create content to actually get people to buy stuff from you. So the purpose of this worksheet is to help you deliberate about the content you're creating so you can dive, you can drive and create leads, engage leads that become sales while reminding you to eat all of the majority of the main marketing objective. These buses are listed in order from top of the funnel to the mid funnel to bottom of the funnel or offers used for content and email. So you can use this stuff even on your content. You can use this stuff on your email. So the first type of content which we can be able to post with the short form content through marketing is we can establish authority because people are going to buy from those who the fee is above them and somehow where there's an authority. And that was where in the marketing content that says we focus on that authority because the, in the digital marketing business, you're actually in the leadership business. People are going to follow you when they feel that you have something of value that you can give to them. You have the information that they do not have, that they feel that they could be able to get it and start to follow you and your brand. So we want to also show that we are in a place of authority. So we're selling our stuff. They can believe that what we have for them can actually help them and they're going to pay us. So here are some of the content you can be able to use. So as we saw earlier, the hook story and call to action. So these are the first two parts, which is the hook, which is something you can use to quickly get their attention. Now, these are examples you can create more so you can use that. So you can see how anyone can launch a website that makes money. So this is attention seeking content. If you are in the digital marketing space and you've been looking for ways to actually make money on the internet and you saw an headline that actually tell you how anyone can launch a website that makes money. 
you're going to be interested. You want to wait to see what this person is talking about, and you're going to want to check out that more. And this is where it goes back to the avatar and the people you want to save. Now, for example, if you're saving those um, in the net five environment that are burnt out, you can say how any um, burnt out or busy net five worker can be able to make money on the internet in this spare time. So this is going to be attractive to those persons because you know these people are the people you try to attract and you can get them to your phone very, very easily. Now, if you're a stay-at-home mom, you can use the headline like how um, any stay-at-home mom can be able to spend more time with their kids while also making extra three to 5,000 years every month in the comfort of their home. This is going to be attractive. This is going to hook the attention where you can then elaborate on what you meant by actually sharing the story. So when it comes to the story, you can different procedure. You can use the list if you're working with the list, or you can actually start just sharing the story of whatever thing you just talk to attract them into the videos and elaborate more about that. And you can give a call to action, which is the last framework to actually get them to go check out your phone and your landing page. So the reason why we talked, why I said you want to create your phone, the very first thing first. So when we're talking about phone, we're talking about landing page. So let me show you. Um, some example of my landing page so you can get an insight of what I'm talking about right here. So this is an this is a landing page to a free course. So you can see you invited to 100% free training event. Leave the laptop left, uh, leave the laptop left there and um, share some more tips. And this is actually a course put together by Brian Biri in the Athlete Escape Plan community. So if you want to check it out, it gives you more insight on how you can actually start leveraging short-term content how you can use those templates I just work you through and how you can actually start generating more leads and sales. Brian is actually an awesome dude. It's one of the people that actually got me to make my first, my first $1,000 on the internet. And uh, back in 2021, from his strategy, the Learn to Teach strategy. And that stuff is saving me to today. And if you want to check out this training, it's actually free from Brian. So this is a lead magnet, as you can see in here. So for those that are actually interested in building an online business, they can be able to drop their email and their contact, as I said earlier. Social media platform, especially with the short-term content, is very busy. People are doing so many things, and people are just going through their newsfeed and their profile. And if you're waiting and hoping that those people are just going to buy your stuff because why not? <laughs> They're going to be hoping. You have to get them to do it, and this is why the call to action is very important. You have to instruct them on what to do and um, where they're going to benefit. What they're going to benefit if they actually do what you want them to do. If that makes sense. So this is the place to capture those emails. And those contacts, so you have more opportunity to be able to send more marketing promotions to those people in the future. So as I said um, in the diagram, when it comes to content marketing, you have to optimize that profile. Then we have to set up our phone and our landing page. And landing page is, uh, uh, was it landing page is a place where you can capture these people's email so you can send future marketing promotions to them consistently without depending on them, your content being shown to them on TikTok, on Wiz, on YouTube, whatever streaming platform, you actually post this content to get their attention, if that makes sense. So we can use the hook story, call to action. Then we have to be growing our email list from this audience, which we're currently growing. And this is have to do with the lead magnet. So this is when we create a lead magnet. And if you don't know what lead magnet, our lead magnet are free gifts and incentives which, which marketers give in exchange for your contact details. So what you can see in, in here, this is a lead magnet to a free training on how you can leave the laptop lifestyle, as you can see. Now, this is another example. This is a lead magnet to my free course on how you can go from newbie or stock to making your first 10K online, leveraging attraction marketing as a digital entrepreneur. And this is for affiliate coaches, MRO product creators, and uh, for you. And this was created by your boy. And what you can see in here, these are all ways I can be able to capture those leads and convert them into capture those views, those traffic, those visibility into a lead and our own, which I can be able to send future marketing content to if that actually makes sense. All right, so this is the landing page and this is a lead magnet, which is the free course. In here, I'm giving out my free course. In here, I'm giving out uh, Brian's free course. And um, in here, this is just a bridge page to an offer I'm currently promoting, which is a roadmap to which is course. And now you can actually make money selling done for your digital products. So these are ways you can be able to capture those leads, capture those traffic and convert it into leads when working with short form content. Because you understand that attention spam is very, very short and people are very, very busy. This is why I want to quickly move them as we marketing on this platform. We're not promoting, we're not creating content to go viral. We're creating content to, stay, to sell stuff, if that makes sense. 
So to set those stuff, we need those traffic to be moved as fast as possible to our save space and our save up, which is our email list in that case. Does that make sense? Unlike on Facebook, where we can literally just create posts on our Facebook from the engagement and the post, we can reach out on DM. We can have a list of people on DM that are interested in that product and can be able to actually make more sales without actually creating a funnel. When you work with short-term content, you need a funnel. If not, you're going to lose out on so many sales and so many potential leads that you could have been able to harvest and get into a lead. But you need a proven funnel. You need a proven lead magnet. And if you have no idea how to create that, we talk about everything about content, lead magnets, and how you can be able to generate sales with attraction marketing in the marketing content that say workshop. And it's literally so cheap, <laughs> literally. And I'm, I'm going to remove it from that press anytime soon because it's crazy for that amount. All right, so um, that's going to be the, the funnel. So after that, the lead magnet, you want to create your landing page, which is a funnel setup. You want to create your email welcome sequence and campaigns. You want to create a daily broadcast. Then you want to cross promote. So what we mean that campaign? So when people sign up into those funnel, they're going to get access to the campaign where they're going to start sending daily emails. What well, I'm going to send daily pre created emails for them to further measure them and provide them into a C and a lead in my business. So this is an example of email sequence. So when people sign up into this um, campaign, which sorry, it's all campaign anyway, when people sign up into this landing page, this sales page, they're going to get access to those email sequences, which is going to get to follow up on them and convert them into a lead and it sees forever products I'm selling on the internet. So these are the sequence. If you want access to this document, be sure to share it. Be sure to let me know in the comments. I'm going to send you the link to this document so you can get an insight of everything. So once you're creating content, you're also working with email marketing. So you're using the content, you're putting out the short-term content to attract those people, then using this email marketing to measure them and show them your offer. So you're converting your content on the social media platform, on those short-term content platform is attracting them. Your email marketing is not showing and converting them into lead and sales, if that makes sense. So that's how that work for that, <laughs> okay? so back to the type of content to create so the first one is to establish authority these ideas of the hook and this is a template which you can be able to work with the second is to get more traffic and views so this is when you want to actually start plugging those interests because people in the digital marketing space are going to need more traffic and you can either create it to make it fun or you can create it to make it fast you can create it to make it easy or you can create a new opportunity these are all interesting and exciting things that actually get people attention and get them to want to stick through your content. So here's an example. So for example, if you want to make it fun, here's a money-making idea that's actually fun. You love TikTok, right? Can you imagine how fun it is to make a simple video that goes viral and makes you money? Do this, then you're going to give out a call to action. Like, if you're interested in learning more about this, be sure to copy the link in your screen to get access to um step-by-step -step guide and how you can do this, or you can be able to use different other strategies to be able to get the attention and get them to be able to check out the link in your landing page, if that makes sense. Now, I just lost power in here. All right, so these are the scripts which you can be able to use to get more traffic and views. They are also scripts which can be able to strengthen the bond and the relationship with the people. And according to Blame Warren in the One Sentence Persuasion, they said people are going to do anything for those who encourage their dreams, justify their failures, confirm their suspicions, allay their fears, and throw rocks at their enemies. So these are some of the frameworks you can be able to use to incorporate that into your marketing. So you want to encourage the dreams of your targeted audience. You want to justify their failures. Like um, if you have been struggling to generate lead on the internet, it's not your fault. What you need to understand is that the gurus have been telling you a lie. You do not need to go there to be able to generate lead. All you need to do is understand the people you want to serve your product and actually get in front of those people and show them how that can help them. So you can see this is an example of justifying the failure that you can confirm your suspicions. If you've been feeling stuck and you've not been generating lead as you thought you would, it's not your fault. What actually been causing that is because you have been missing something. So this is always to hook your attention and get you reading to checking those stuff more in depth and these are the hook type of content and also content to throw your uh, to throw works at your enemy for example you can say i'm too sick and tired of the corporate environment 
not treating you right, treating you like just a number and a, a tool that they can use anyhow, getting you to spend time away from your family. And at the end of the day, you can get fired at any moment. Those people suck. And all of this stuff is going to attract because you're speaking to a targeted avatar. It's something they actually align with. And this is where we went to the first page, which is figuring out the offer, the people it solves, the problem for, and then figuring out how you can be able to identify with those people then what pain are those people struggling with so you can communicate it to them effortlessly so these are some of the scripts in here and template that can actually help you do all of that there are so many things in here this is awesome and this is stuff i'm going to be giving to you free in this session right now so if you want access to this document and you also want access to this um step-by-step -step blueprints on how you can actually work through the framework to set up your content and actually start generating lead short-term content be sure to let me know now depending on the strategy you're using if you're promoting an air ticket offer you may want to get on the call to show the people you buy your product and services. And I've been able to use short form content and email marketing with a pre-created um, pre sequence to generate more lead and sales to my cause, to book more calls and appointments for my high ticket offers without even talking to anybody on DMs. So this is another strategy which can be able to use depending on your level of copywriting key and we can be able to communicate with your audience. And this is where you need to be good at your content to understand the people content was your offer was created for and the people and the type of audience you want to build so you can attract them and consistently share your stuff to them easily so i don't want to go in depth about today's session so i want to keep it light and cheap so if you want access to the documents and the templates so you can actually start creating more noteworthy content be sure to let me know in the comment below so before we go um before i end the session let's talk about the call to action so the call to action is the third part of the piece. This is where you actually tell people what you want them to do. So at the end of the part, most social media platform have been able to advance. For example, YouTube doesn't allow comments anymore in the short, so you cannot be able to add your link in the short. So something I actually do in that case is I copy the link in the screen and I tell people to copy the link into that URL to get access to the freebie or the lead market time promoting. Or you can tell them to give you a comment you can give a call to action like if you want to figure out yeah check out my free book to learn how you can start your online business or how you can do xyz be sure to drop a comment drop a meme below or drop something that is going to give you engagement and also get an easy way for you to be able to connect to those people and send the link to them so that you can check out the lead magnet and you can move them from just the traffic into a lead in your business because that's very very important so um to not to dive in depth into this if you want more one-on-one um, -on -one time to better understand how you can leverage short-form content, how you can start creating this content, what are the best ID type of content you want to create for your business, I can build an audience leveraging short-form content, and any question about short-form content, be sure to drop in in the comments or just reach out to me on the DM. I'm very chi, I'm very cool, no out pitch. We're going to have a nice and fun conversation. I'm going to help you if I can. And if not, if you're still going to have a nice conversation, I'm a chi guy. So um, that's going to be all for today's session. If you have any questions, be sure to drop it in the comments. Uh, if you want to check out the magnetic content that says workshop, be sure to let me know or check out the pinned post and feature post in the group or check out my new post in my Facebook profile. And you're going to get more information about that. If it's something you'll be interested in, be sure to let me know. And you can grab the five bonus right now while it's still out.